cauldron should be enough to win Sutungur's favor. I could go to Utgartha now, but a gift for Gunlotha would improve my chances at getting the meat.
So Tungur is always thinking. Don't trust anyone that thinks that much. My father was a thrall, as is my wife, as will our children. Survey the area, Sunan. I want to talk to you. Well, thing, thank you! Stature, but great indeed. I am the one they call Javi, the High One of Asgard, and I come bearing a great gift. Your name is known to me, but what could mighty Sotunga want that a little thing like you could provide? Your great cauldron, stolen by Hemia's sons. Let this offering be a beginning to the end of our hostilities. Such a small thing, yet so much steeper than it seems. Appearances can be deceiving, can they not? <laughs> well spoken, Harvey. Our people may be enemies, but you have earned your welcome here. Thralls, an honored guest has come. Prepare a feast! I hope also to meet your daughter, Gumluda. I have heard much of her skill in the mystical arts. She will be toiling at her work, as ever. But be forewarned, she shuns the company of others. I could summon her to the feast if you like. We might discuss matters of alchemy on the way. That would please me. You will find her in her grotto, up the path, within the circle of stones. Have a care, though. You are safe in my presence, but you wander Utgard at your peril. I will be discreet. And Harvey, be kind. Gunlother is different from you and I.
Let's see you, old friend.
won't be gentle if they spot me. If Mr. Skip back in school, we have a No sense trying to change fate. What counts is. Gunloda, what is this place? Some time ago, we made powerful magic here. We sought to see all futures. But every road led to Ragnarok. Father does not visit here anymore. He sees no profit in it. But I am not yet ready to give up. You are Esir. I am. I have seen images of the future, heard the voices of those who will come after us. Voices from... in there? Yes. I leave them words. Little packets of possibility, waiting for unknown ears, many ages hence. What do these future voices say? They seek the wisdom of the past. They speak of things to come. But even they cannot turn the tide of Ragnarok. There is to be a feast in my honor. Your father sent me to fetch you. No, not yet. Listen. I want you to hear the voices. Are you there, Prophet? Can you hear me?
Perhaps another day. Another thread. Come. We must not keep father waiting. Who are you? Winter's knife cuts deep, and sky pearls fall thick in this land. It... it is cold out here. How can that surprise you? I haven't been outside in... Uh, I don't know how long. You are devoted to your work. Not my work, my responsibility. My people ignore the disaster bearing down on them. Someone must do something. We have long searched for a solution, until the burden of it has bent my mind. I do not think as clearly as I once did. I have heard there's one method still untested. There is, but to activate it would mean defiling our well of knowledge, from which all of Midgard drinks. There is no telling the change it would wreak on humankind. It would bring chaos at the least, and I do not wish to hurt them. Even if it means the death of all Jotna? We will find another way. We must. This land is quite beautiful. I had all but forgotten. vault, wherein our greatest discoveries are kept. Such things would do great harm in the hands of evil people. No stone walls will defend us when Ragnarok comes. All we have built here will be swept away. For so long we made magics there, in that tower. Enchantment has seeped into its very walls. The wind and snow have gnawed that tower to the bone. Soon we will knock it down. Harvey, your feast is prepared. I hope it pleases you. You are generous and hospitable indeed, great Sutunga. None can say otherwise. And see, your gift stands in pride of place, brimming with freshly fermented mead. Enough for a hundred Yotnar and more. This is an unexpected honor. You have filled it already with mead from your vault, then? No need. It has filled itself. Such is the magic of the cauldron. Impressive. But what if it should run out of meat? Do you hear this? <laughs> Harvey fears he will drink us dry! <laughs> my cauldron is deep, but my vault is deeper. Do not worry about my stores of mead. I have plenty to go around. Father, you know revelry does not suit me. Must I attend this feast? I have work to do. Your work can wait, my daughter. Take a moment, enjoy yourself. Father, we have very little time. Enjoy yourself. I insist.
the, the guests are uneasy. They see an Aesir, but they do not know you. Will you address them? I'm ready. Now, we will hear from our honored guest. The Lord of the Aesir has come in peace and brought us a mighty gift. Attend. Harvey, I'm called, whose axe is never slaked. The blood of my enemies is my meat, their skulls my pillow. You brag well. They were ever pleased by violence. You are all brothers and sisters to me. Do not be too familiar. Jotnar are slow to trust. Now I will sing you the Lay of Eden, whose apples gave life eternal. Those with rumbling bellies will not stand for long tales. Now we will drink deep and eat heartily. The fist begin! I need to empty that cauldron. Then Tsutunga will open his vault. You see musicians. Where is the music? Somber souls will only sip at their drinking horns. Conjure us a tune to raise their spirits. We are keen, but my harp has been stolen. We cannot play without it. Who would steal a Songbringer's instrument? There was a group of children playing around us earlier, with mischief in their eyes. I will get your harp back, and then you will play. Thralls. Humans kept in bondage, bred to serve. Such is the fate of the lowly. No guests in the kitchen! Out! <laughs> Harvey! Show us your might! Beat that champion and we will drain our horns in your honor! Bring me this champion, and I will shine my knuckles on his jawbone. Behold! Do not mock me. I will not fight a withered old crone. <laughs> if you are too afraid to face her, well, that is that. If she is truly your champion, then so be it. I will try not to break her brittle bones, but I promise nothing. Don't be shy! Place your fist against the champion! Perhaps a bait would be more suited to your strength! Can you not beat an old woman? Don't be scared of that crumble bones! Indeed, you are mighty. You have fought old age and won. No one has ever done that before. Drink to me then, as you promised you would. All of you, empty your horns for heavy! Agir, mighty friend to the Asir. Are you not sorry to lose your cauldron? It was never mine by right. Thor won it from Hymir so he might feast in my hall. I only kept it on his behalf. And after that bloody business with Hymir's sons, well, I'd as soon be rid of it. I'll have no strife beneath my roof. The end of strife. I'll drink to that. And I'll drink to anything. The lead is half gone. Then Agir's cauldron can't be drained. I should try the archery contest. Greetings, Harvey. Will you test your arm at archery? You must hit three targets in a handful of heartbeats. I can shoot the wings of a wasp. Ah, but can you do it while mead-addled? 
Before each attempt, you must take a drink. I'll take your challenge on one condition. For every drink I take, you take two. Ha! That's a condition I'll gladly accept. Are you ready? Show me those targets. Then take a drink and let fly! Last time I played your game, I got so drunk I shot my brother in the leg. What's this second cost? Gunlona looks clock. You're not drinking, Gunlada. I do not care for it. Drink is the heron that steals away one's memory. Some would say it frees the spirit of worry. We call those people drunks. <laughs> I see your wit is as sharp as your intelligence. Wit? I was simply stating a truth. Let us play a game. Ask me some riddles. I will see if I can guess them. I enjoy a good riddle. How did you know? All great minds enjoy riddles. You fashion order from disorder, sense from nonsense. You have me at that. Very well, I will play. Give me an easy one to begin. Would that I had now what I had yesterday. Find out what that was. Mankind it mars, speech it hinders, yet speech it will inspire. must be gold. A worthy guess, but wrong. The answer is ale. Would you like another? All right, I'm ready. Who is that shrill one who rides a hard road and has fared that way before? He kisses hard who has two mouths and goes only on gold. A river has a mouth and sometimes flows on gold. A good try, but the river's kiss is soft. It is a hammer. One more? I feel good about this one. Be prepared. This is the hardest yet. White-haired women, servants too, bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. Snow on the trees. You have a poet's heart, but you should have used your mind. It was swans and eggs. Well, now the game is over. Have I raised your spirits at all? That was disappointing. Perhaps you'd better find someone more suited to your intelligence. So easy after something at the brink of the cheer count, huh? When you feel ready, take a drink and try again. What can I do to get them to drink faster? Utgarda, the ancient keep of the Yatna. Sutungar, all sway within those walls. Uh, give it to me! I want to go! Get your grubby paws off my hop! That hop does not belong to you, little thief. You should give it back. What are you gonna do? Fight me for it? Why don't you give me a real challenge? You want this hop? Go dive in that me. Climb as high as you can, though. I want a big splash. Watch and learn. My turn! My turn! Not you too! You'll break the strings with your sausage fingers! <laughs> Bet they won't do it! How many broken bones, you think? Fifty at least. Maybe a hundred. Now give back the harp, so the musicians may play. Umia's hairy balls! That was amazing! You must be half raven! Who taught you such language? Mother? Why? I shot my brother in the leg. What's the second worst?
Loki? Not me, friend. My name is Thok. Uh, forgive me. I, I thought you were someone else. Too much drink in too little time. The cure for that is sleep. Is that Loki there? Surely he would not dare. You return. Keen to stretch your bowstring? Show me those targets. Then take a drink and let fly! Cheer cup, huh? When you feel ready, take a drink and try again. So drunk, I shot my brother in the leg. What's the second worst? Turn. Keen to stretch your bowstring? Show me those targets. Then take a drink and let fly! Not so easy after supping at the brook of the cheer cup, huh? When you feel ready, take a drink and try again. Come, give it a try! What's the worst that can happen? Last time I played your game, I got so drunk I shot my brother in the leg. What's the second worst? You return. Keen to stretch your bowstring? Show me those targets. Then take a drink and let fly! What's the second worst? Not so easy after supping at the group of the cheer cup, huh? When you feel ready, take a drink and try again. Come, give it a try! What's the worst that can happen? 
Last time I played your game, I got so drunk I shot my brother in the leg. What's the second worst? to stretch your bowstring? Show me those targets. Then take a drink and let fly! Not so easy after stopping at the brook of the cheer cup, huh? When you feel ready, take a drink and try again. Come, give it a try! What's the word? Come, give it a try! 